Hi guys, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. If you're new here, I actually uh, create uh, and publish videos every day um, since the start of this year, which is only like four days anyway. I've pl planned to, you know, publish videos every day talking about Office 365 and, and modern work, uh, how you could use Office 365 platform in your modern workplace and so on. So, uh, if you haven't checked out my previous videos, after this video, I would encourage you to go and uh, check out those videos as well. I've, I've spoke about my my resolutions for the year, uh, my uh, wish list items, and I've touched base on Microsoft Search a bit as well. Uh, please do check out those videos and, and and let me know your feedback. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the items uh, which caught my attention this week. So these items could be like say feature updates or you know news articles related to Office 365 and modern work, uh, or you know any com you know interesting discussions that are happening on LinkedIn or on in, in the official Microsoft tech community. So uh, let's get into the the items that caught my attention. Number one is uh, Microsoft have released a, a new controlled uh, a mobile friendly barcode scanner control for uh, power apps so using this control you could actually scan barcodes qr codes and data matrix codes in using you know your ios or the android device straight from the app so it just opens up a lot of uh, functionality uh, you know and makes uh, makes um, that makes it easier for to build use cases like you know scanning receipts or not not just scanning receipts uh, you know scanning barcodes in the in the records management space and and so on. So I'll 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 talk about this this particular control and then probably walk through an app that I've built as well, just just to show the functionality in a bit more detail in in the later video. The second item I wanted to bring to your attention uh, is is the Yammer files. So AMO files, previously AMO files uh, and Office 365 group files were entirely different. So there's there's an option in AMO to, you know, uh, upload files and, and the files get stored within the AMO storage. So this is this is where, you, you know, the confusion comes in, like, you know, should I upload the files to AMO or should I upload the files to Office 365 groups? So if if a yammer group is connected to office 365 previously we had these two different uh, storage mechanisms but now with this update uh, um, you know if the yammer files is 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 consolidated into office 365 <coughs> group files which is backended by sharepoint so so uh, I, i'm pretty excited about this because you know this is this is what is, is close to my heart around this consolidation that confusion needs to go away um so Yammer files with a tight integration into Office 65 group uh, files is, is, is a big uh, thumbs up from, from my, my point of view. I keep knocking my mic. Um, the third thing that came to my attention is the custom column formatting. Again, this is again uh, in line with my view of empowering the business users or power users. Previously, Microsoft has released uh, the, the column formatting option. Uh, where you could actually highlight certain columns based on the values of the metadata uh, uh, within the within the list items. Anyway, uh, so so uh, previously, in order to do the uh, column column formatting, you need to actually inject custom JSON scripts, and you, you know normal power users wouldn't know what JSON is, and uh, let alone create a script and and, and get custom for column formatting uh, enabled on their lists and libraries. With the new update, um, the, the the custom column formatting is natively supported inside the SharePoint list and libraries. So, using the information panel on in the uh, in the lists in the libraries, you could just automatically you know select the type of column formatting you want. And again, uh, the custom uh, the the JSON formatting is still is, is still there. If if a, a developer or an advanced user wants to you know uh, create their own type of uh, formatting. So I would highly encourage you to go and check it out uh, as well. The next feature I want to talk about is the, uh, and, and the last one is, is the page approvals. Modern pages didn't have a, an approval mechanism built in previously. So, uh, you know, you could create a page or a news article and just save it as a draft or hit the publish key. You know, this direct publishing mechanism is a big no-no in, in lots of organizations I work with. So, you know, uh, they, they wanted to go through a, a, a publishing workflow. 
so the publishing uh, the page approvals are now supported using Microsoft Flow. There you go. Those are the four items which caught my attention this week. And uh, this is a short week anyway. It's uh, coming back from holidays. It's, it's, it's a really quiet week. From a work point of view, uh, it was a quiet week for me as well. Uh, I was supposed to do a presentation on the ECM capabilities of SharePoint or SharePoint Online. And that got postponed to next week uh, due to some scheduling conflicts. Uh, and I had to sit through uh, like a, a training boot camp uh, that we do normally at the at the start of the year where we actually share what we've learned in the past year and also talk about each other's uh, uh, ECM uh, technologies. Because in, 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 in my current team, we actually not just deal with Office 365 and SharePoint Online. We also have, uh, we deal with open text, content server and eDocs and, and uh, HP Trim and so on. Anyway, it was it was interesting week. Uh, I had to uh, had, I learned a lot in, about the other tool sets uh, available in the ECM space, which is good. Okay, um, that's that's about it uh, from my point of view. Uh, and please do stay tuned for the next video, which is going to come out tomorrow, and have a surprise uh, lined up for you. Thanks, thanks for watching. Again, my name is Jag Kakarlapuri. I am a daily Office 365 vlogger. I publish my videos here on LinkedIn and YouTube. If you have, if you're not connected with me on LinkedIn yet, I highly encourage you to uh, connect or, or follow me on LinkedIn to keep track of these videos. Thanks, and I'll see you in my next video.